Yeah, so there's some big conspiracy theories coming out about Anne Heche and her uh, possible murder, I guess, is what <laughs> we're saying here. So some would say accident or, or yeah. intentional crash? Intentional murder. Look, I love conspiracies. <laughs> By the Hollywood Star Whackers. <laughs> oh, the Star Whackers are back. Yeah, yeah oh. they're back. I love conspiracies. It's Star Whacker season. Yeah. <laughs> But I thought this was pretty cut and dry. No, yeah. but is the Illuminati involved in this, or what's going on? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot going on. They said that her car was completely electric, so it's easily manipulated by Elon Musk. Electronics, Elon Musk, yeah, <laughs> possibly um, <laughs> by the Hollywood elite. They have, you know, every star's um, electric car. They could run it by remote control if they want to. Yeah. It was an electric car. Yes. What is the model again? They say it's an electric car. It's a Mini Cooper, right? Yeah. I didn't know Mini Coopers they do electric? were electric. Yeah, the, the motors are small enough. I thought that'd be, you know. I thought they were like Bob Dylan acoustic. You know what I mean? Wait, yeah, what? she was driving. <laughs> <laughs> Bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> she was driving a Mini Cooper for sure. Yeah. People say it's all electric. I don't know that for a fact. Um, I don't know if anybody knows that for a fact. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah. Remember that song? Oh, yeah. Marsha Griffiths. Slides. You can uh, feel it. It's electric. <laughs> boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so you're saying it's like that scene in Batman Returns where the penguin puts the control on the Batmobile. Yes. And drives for yeah. Batman. Exactly. Is that when he's on the rubber Danny, duck. De- Danny DeVito? Evil Danny DeVito. Yeah, he is. Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> And he bites a guy's nose off. He does. Yeah. He kind of looks like Rudy Giuliani looks right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's melting like Giuliani. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gross. He's got the black ooze coming out of his mouth yeah, and everything. He, he lives in Central Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not be too outrageous. The Penguin's a little more put together than Giuliani. Yeah, yep. a little bit more. He's uh, drunk. There's a popular theory um, circling the QAnon annals of the what? Twitter. <laughs> annals. Annals. <laughs> I got something on my, my mind. My annals. And up my butt. Yeah. And it's this theory. Um, they're saying that Anne Heche, Chester Bennington, Paul Walker, Anthony we, Bourdain. Remind us who Chester is. Chester Bennington was the lead singer of Linkin Park, one of my favorite bands of all time. So what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, um, so and that... also Helena Hutchins were all oh, involved are you kidding me? in a documentary about Jeffrey Epstein. So they were all has... suicided. They were all unalive. Who's been dead for a few years now, Jeffrey Epstein. Yes. So... Chester Bennington's been dead be- since way before him. Okay. But who so killed that's why Helena this... then since Jeffrey Epstein was Alec not... Baldwin. Yeah. All right. Hold on. <laughs> You're saying Jeffrey Epstein still has goons out there. Yeah. Okay. Are they Star Whackers? Is this Randy Quaid? Has he waited on this? Yet? There's a lot of powerful people who don't want you to know who's in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Okay. And so they're all working on a supposed documentary that's going to blow the lid off the sex trafficking industry. So far yes. unreleased. Yeah. In reality, though, Anne H was working on a Lifetime movie. Yes, that so, was a narrative feature. It's completely, but untrue. also, but also touched on the subject of trafficking. It was about sex trafficking. One yes. of it's a Lifetime movie called "The Girl in Room 13. It's coming out next month. Um, we have the trailer here. Actually, we have the first look, and maybe we'll watch it on Twitch. Yes, yeah. we should. Grace. So this is like taken. Let's have a toast. My girl. She's been out of rehab for a month. Bugaboom. I am committed to making this work. Without a doubt. Guess who I ran into? Richie. He was asking about you. I don't need his trouble. Hey. No, Richie, I can't. I hate to say it, but Anne Hayes is kind of acting like... She's sounding like she sounded on the podcast at the end. Yeah. It's not the same Anne Hayes from Wag the Dog. No. What do you want? Richie, let me go. Why hasn't she called? So this girl's been kidnapped. It's been two days since you last saw her. Grace has a history with drugs. She's- There's nothing here that indicates that a crime has taken place. I keep falling in. She's fine. Like something happened to her. I just want to go. A mother's mission. <laughs> you said you saw your daughter last at the interstate. Drugs blow along that interstate like water. And when there's drugs, there's trafficking. Oh. Is her daughter's them. survival. They drug them. After 10 days, they... Saw they them. waited way they too long to bring them. that second text up. How long has your yeah. daughter been missing? It said a mother's mission is her daughter's 
survival. Yeah. yeah. But they it was they're like, like 10 thirty minutes seconds in apart. Between. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they don't care about it that much. What are you do to me? Yeah, their editors and writers and actors aren't that great over a lifetime. So So let's go with that premise. There's a horrible lifetime Z movie yeah. that's coming out next month. And that's why Anne it's, Hayes. It's not a B movie, it's a Z movie. Yeah. That's why she's in the spotlight of the Star Whackers. Yeah. So they take it upon themselves to make it seem like, you know, this is a documentary they were working on. The thing you have open right now is also bringing Paul Walker and Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. There's a, a blue check. Jamie Sale was the one that put this out that said there are no coincidences. <laughs> and Paul Walker, Anthony Bourdain, Anne Hayes, Helena Hutchins' next project was a documentary about Hollywood pedophile rings which uh, she was shot and killed on set by Alec Baldwin. And, <laughs> what? And Chester Bennington's name has been thrown in the same meme. Like, so he was what gonna the write, hell are you waiting for? He was going to write a song about <laughs> sex trafficking. Well, he was yeah. working on the documentary with them. Did he ever do any other documentaries? In no, he was in like Saw 9. And so that was like his only foray into acting. So there's no proof that it. this guy was working on the. No, that's why about. these dude. I they believe, make this up. They're just making it up. I believe 9/11 was an inside job. I believe there's <laughs> fucked up. I can't shit wait to just take that, that one quote with John F. Kennedy. I believe that the magic bullet. I agree yeah, with that. A great. lot of fucked up things have happened. Sure, but if you just start making up insane theories. That have no foundation in reality. And they tenuously have something to do with pedophilia. Yeah. That's why I think the CIA actually puts out these theories so that people will be like, yeah, that's it, to distract from what the actual. Because it sounds crazier. Yeah. And you sound crazy if you, if you agree with it. Yeah. It sounds crazy, but there are people that are really into this theory. Yeah, that's why someone posted on our YouTube that says, uh, I think Anne was murdered. Go ahead and make fun. But her car was likely remotely controlled and she was murdered. And I was like, why do you say likely? With her history of documented drug use <laughs> the day of, why do you say likely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you just say it was? Because how else would she have been killed? Yeah. And Unless there's, there's explosives in the car. There's people saying, because there's video of her trying to get off the stretcher and she's completely unburned. Not true. You can clearly see her shirt's fucking melted and completely burnt. And her hair is completely melted. When she came out and then she was on the stretcher and she came back alive, that's what gave a lot of these people some fuel. They also like give you fucking adrenaline to wake you up. Yeah. If, if you've been in, you know, a severe. She was accident. there for a while. Yeah. She was in there for upwards of 30, possibly 45 minutes. As we walk through this conspiracy, should we also walk through that day with these clips? Yeah, let's do it. To remind everybody. The day starts with her at the wig shop, right? Yeah, she went to go buy a red wig for whatever reason. It's so funny because I, I remember this wig shop and I used to do an open mic next door at some coffee shop. Nice coffee shop. They had an outdoor uh, patio in the back where the open mic would happen. In Venice. In Venice. It was cool. Yeah. It was like a cool spot. And you actually remember, though, this wig shop. Yes, because I parked right in front of the wig shop. To go to the coffee shop every time. It was a Saturday open mic at like 3 o'clock, and there was like like 100 people would sign up for so it. So th this guy's crushing the wig game. If he's able to have a wig shop open for this long. By the way, that's part of the conspiracy theory, is that she was buying a wig because people were following her. The yeah. Star Whackers. Yeah. yeah. So she had to buy a red wig so that she couldn't be spotted. Yeah. Randy Quaid and the Star Whackers. That's a good band name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would fully support that show. Yeah. I'd be like uh you know, like a deadhead, but for the for that band. Yeah. <laughs> so that's her flying. The Mini Cooper. That's someone's controlling her. Yes. There. It, allegedly based on this yeah. idea, yeah. This is the one where she almost fucking kills somebody coming out of that alleyway. The person turns around and just stares her down. But by that point, she's already way gone. Not to add to the conspiracy fire, but that pedestrian is wearing bright orange. Yeah. Why? <laughs> they stand out quite a bit. Yeah. So that you can't miss them. In but she does words, miss her, and she does come to a stop right before she's hitting the street. So it's like if she was remote controlled, why would she not go full force into the street? Why would they slow her down right before she's entering a, an intersection if they wanted her hmm. dead? Hmm. And really what I'm getting at with the bright orange is maybe that's an actor. Uh, and they oh, want, a crisis actor. They, yeah, cri you want them to be seen. Yeah. 
they have the remote control going, so they know it's all staged. Yeah, they want it to look like Anne might hit the person. Ah, oh. what does that serve though? The story that Anne was out of control. Ah. Oh. So that it takes away from the attention that the Star Whackers killed her. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. All right. Well, we got our own inside conspiracy theory. Yeah. Nutbag. And it adds <laughs> to the fire. Resident nutbag. Resident nutbag. <laughs> it adds to the unlikability of Anne Hayes that yeah. day. Mm. That she almost killed a pedestrian. Well, she that picture with her, she looks crazy in the in her Mini Cooper. Yeah. Oh, the v- picture with her in the vodka bottle. Yeah. Supposedly might have been photoshopped in. Yeah, we were talking about that, how hilarious it would be for a vodka company to be fighting over who's photoshopping <laughs> in their bottle. <laughs> Tito's is it? like, yeah, yeah we, want, we want in there, okay? And Absolute's like, well, you know, she drank us first. Before. Dan Aykroyd's like, put my crystal skull in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of crisis actors, do we have the wig guy? I think we got the wig guy here. This guy, I can't make hay of this guy. Oh, I could make hay of this guy. Yeah? What do you mean by He's hay? He's like all my fucking people I know back home that put themselves in the middle of a story that they're really not in the middle of. Mm. Were but they there is. that day? Yeah. But he really is angling so for he, sympathy. He's over-accentuating his role in this whole thing. Yeah. I should have done something to stop her. I should have seen what was going on. Yeah. It's like, all right, dude. Relax. Crocodile tears. Whoa, Dundee Mark, tears over Mark there. here with the tough love. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm just going along with the logic that Kyle's throwing down here. Yeah. All right, here we go. Richard Glass. Dick Glass. Dick Glass. It's the, the wig shop morning. owner. Before that fiery car crash left her in critical condition with severe burns. Oh, I see she was in a crash, and I'm just like floored like oh my gosh i'm praying like i hope she's okay i hope she's okay he says in this interview that he's never done drugs in his life so he wouldn't know when someone's on it yeah uh, sure it's like okay you live in la i'm sure you've been around one <laughs> yeah. or two people on you own coke. a wig shop get out of yeah. here <laughs> richard glass owned glass hair design in venice beach and less than an hour before ann crashed her car into a nearby house she popped into his shop to buy a wig we discovered that it was ann Hayes, and from there she asked if she could purchase a red wig that was up top and I said sure and as I bring it down I tell her that it's not cut or styled she said she didn't care she wanted it anyway so from there I bring it down I tell her it's a little bit dusty she says no worry just sell me some shampoo and conditioner <laughs> wow. it was just it's so random so mm. random right now the LAPD okay, is so investigating and for misdemeanor that DUI. kind of sells the theory that I just need a wig people are chasing me mm. I'm playing devil's advocate here. Richard yeah. Says, that, that was the most um, relaxed I've seen him during an interview. There was one where he gets into a full on like uh, sobbing fit. Really? Yeah. He's like, I just should have done something. Like, I've never done drugs. I've never seen people on drugs. So I didn't realize what was going maybe, on. At the maybe time. He I was, was like, er- shut the fuck he, up. Maybe he was earnestly upset about a friend passing. A friend? One person who walked in one time. <laughs> wow. Come on, Mark. Kyle, come on, Mark. Blooded. Yep. I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm coming for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> here he is. There are people that are just evil, you know, um, making accusations that uh, that I had something to do with her toxicology report said. Nobody thinks that. Nobody, not one person has said that ever, but he's putting himself in that position. But I'm starting to think that. But I like this guy. It's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. It is. Well, they're saying that she could have gotten the, the cocaine or the fentanyl from me. Can I get the red wig and some fentanyl, please? No, but really. <laughs> is that for here to go? Who's actually asking specifically for fentanyl? That Nobody is, but they bizarre. put it in the coke. Fentanyl is not something people But that's out. what I would say if I want people to think that I, I didn't know what I was talking so about. So now you're exactly. turning on him. Hey. Uh, I, You know what? I'm playing both sides of the fence here. Yeah, come back to my side. <laughs> uh, Kyle wants to be over the dark side. It's been really, really timing and taxing. Um, I've, I just feel a, a huge remorse. I, I feel... For uh, what? Like I could have done something more. Like the universe you sold her a wig. gave her more her coke. Here Did you cash the check? For me to impact some kind of way, and I just 
feel like I didn't do everything that I was supposed what to. What is he supposed to do? Like, like to say, her grab her shoulders like, and be like, don't her, you know? run into a house um, today. Do it tomorrow. Stay, stay here. Tomorrow. We'll have fun. Because it's just wearing on my We'll heart. sing cabaret. Like this woman. They're giving she, this guy way too help. much airtime. And I wasn't there. I wasn't know? there for her. It's like, bro, you're putting yourself at the center of something that nobody is putting you at the center of. He's being a little dramatic. Do you think Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos made the car drive into the house? Yes or no? That's a yes or no question. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, you passed. <laughs> 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 Somehow. I still don't know why you passed. That's pretty much the entire conspiracy, the fact that people think that she worked on a documentary and she never did. It was the girl in room 13 that hasn't come out yet, which we should watch on Amazon. People can watch it with us live and Haitian's last role. Yes. Um, if you're so inclined. Yeah. Who isn't inclined? <laughs> I don't, oh, I, do you want to send her any well wishes? Sure. I don't want anyone to be hurt. Ellen I don't DeGeneres want anyone to be sent- hurt. She sucks. That's Ellen. God. I went on a tirade that we cut out of the actual episode. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> Kyle went on unhinged. <laughs> Ellen just, DeGeneres, yeah. dude. She's a monster. Yeah. We had to rein Kyle in. We, yeah. had, to, we had to hold him back and hold yeah. him down. Give him a shot. <laughs> 5150. <after this laughs> yeah. Episode. We had to have him committed after going, <laughs> going in on Ellen for a fucking hour and a half. Yeah. Right in the middle of the pod. Based on what Anne has said, they had differences about. Basically, Ellen wanted to take over the world, and Anne didn't. She didn't need all the money in the world. Ellen yeah. did. That's what Anne says. So they broke up. And then that clip Kyle just played, Ellen pretty coldly. I don't want anyone to be hurt. Reacts. Like, Fuck you. It's such a bullshit. This is someone you political. ruin their career specifically. She did tweet when Anne died. This is a sad day. Yeah. I'm giving some credit. She didn't say a why. Little, yeah. little credit, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe, it turns I out. I my toe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe uh, George Bush did uh, a bad painting or something. Her oh new my, best yeah, friend. Of a yeah. veteran he crippled. Yeah, whose fault was his yeah. war criminal. Mission accomplished, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. Ellen, you're my new friend. Yeah. You know yeah. who else Bush is friends with and making paintings with? Jay Leno. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I love this. His big fat Italian face. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like Leno's making Peyton paintings with pa- paintings. W. Page. Bush. Oh yeah. Well, like, oh, oh Michelle Obama fuck? likes him too. Like, get the fuck out of here with yeah. George Bush. That guy is trash, man. <laughs> yeah. George W. Bush is trash. Let's Let kick his fucking ass. Not dude. lose sight of why we are here right now. <laughs> 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 Mission accomplished, man. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, pull up the footage of the wreckage after she plows through a house. Well, there were people saying that um, she couldn't possibly have hit we're gonna go down there because it's not too far from where we are um and see the the actual uh site for ourselves because there was a tiktok that said um there was no possible way for her to cut across the intersection that she did and hit the part of the house that she did unless it was remote controlled because the opening is a little bit to the left of where she impacted the house Mm -hmm. so she would have had to go left and then zigzag right is what they say so that's another conspiracy. We'd, ha- we'd have to see it for ourselves. Because in the footage, it does look a little off. But it's also not something that someone remote controlling would be able to f- finagle that that quickly. <laughs> she was going 100 uh, miles an hour. She probably bounced off entertaining something. Entertaining that idea. Though. Yeah. yeah. It's also hard to believe that nobody was injured or killed that day besides, besides Anne her. H. Yeah. That's the other part that is feeding the conspiracy. Yeah. Even down to the homeowner being a couple well, feet kids... away when she makes the impact through the house. Yeah. That pedestrian, the people at the garage, somehow she perfectly misses everybody. Well, I think these days people are so fearful of maniacs on the street. Kids don't hang out in the streets anymore, like playing street hockey or anything like that. Yeah. Like people are just deathly afraid of maniac drivers like this. And so they, they're less inclined to like hang out in the street or play basketball or any, you know, have fun or do any recreation in the middle of the street. Good, because that's annoying. 
Okay. Okay. The ball could hit your windshield, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alejandro says good riddance. Damn but, kids. Yeah. Get off my porch. <laughs> Get on my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. George Bush is back. I'm Clint Eastwood from <laughs> yeah. Gran Torino. <sighs> These goddamn kids. Yeah. Get off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> These I'm, Mexicans. I'm a racist, but I won't be at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I still kind of will. I still kind of will. Be. Yeah, still, I'll yeah, hang yeah. on to some some of that racist shit. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to a chair. <laughs> yeah, Obama. Yeah. And pull guns on minorities. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what makes her a Republican. <laughs> Sean Penn, you gotta smelt your Oscar for my movie. Yeah, yeah I directed you on that. So smelt it now. Smelt it. Whoever, whoever smelt it, Delta. Whoever smelt it. Back to the conspiracy. <laughs> They're saying also she was left in the burning vehicle for forty-five minutes. Yeah. Nobody helped her out. No. Why? <laughs> No, there was. There's a. Very, That's crazy. People should check out the 911 call. It's actually very infuriating to listen to. Can we hear it? We can hear, but it's very long. Maybe like Look, a second of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Very fast because it's like in the second room, and I don't. We, we don't. We don't know what okay. people are just clearing up the stuff here. So that the car went all the way into the house. Yes. Just your <laughs> like everyday 911 call. Yeah. Where a car goes through an entire house. Is there anybody uh, pinned or trapped inside the vehicle? Uh, He's so calm, the no. 911 Are there any operator. Like down power line? He says no, People and then work. he actually gets the house, pinned? and he's. they're like, is there anyone in the car? And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the house is on fire now? And you can hear a guy say in the background, I'm not going in there. It's the car that's on that was fire it. in the house? I'm not going in there. It's the car that's on fire in the house. This is like the Uvalde High School where the cops don't want to go yeah. in to stop the gunman. The people who were there were too scared to go in and rip her out of there. So she was stuck in there for... That's bullshit. This 911 call is nine minutes long, and um, she was in there for much longer than that. It's between 30 and 45 minutes. She was actually in there breathing in all the fucking chemicals and shit. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. So... What do we take from that? What we take from this is that it was a very unfortunate incident with someone who was clearly not doing well on drugs and alcohol and was not working on a pedophile documentary exposing Jeffrey Epstein and the Hollywood cabal with Chester Bennington, Helena Hutchins, Anthony Bourdain, and Paul Walker. So and Heath Ledger might be involved. In there's that. Too. that. Yeah, 2008. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, she was in a dramatized version of Taken, pretty much. Um, and Girl in Room 13 comes out next month. Check it out on Lifetime. <laughs> we, we will be. We'll be we will be live it. streaming that from Twitch. Yeah. So everybody check it out. So you don't believe in the conspiracy? Not at all. It needs to make sense. And that does not make sense. It does not make sense. But at the very least, there were some people that could have helped her a lot more. Oh, absolutely. Kidding me? Her co-host with the fucking cowboy hat could have done a few things <laughs> instead of trying to dive through shop windows. Heather Duffy. Yeah, Heather Duffy. Cowgirl. Yeah. yeah. She could have pumped the brakes in more ways than one. You know what Ooh. I mean? And there's another clip of her talking about how she's stingy with her Xanax. <laughs> she loves taking Xanax on like planes. Yeah. And you can't have that. But then she begrudgingly shared it with Anne. And they're telling her like it's this cute story. And one of the comments on the video is like, how dare you glorify casual Xanax use? Yeah. So. Yeah, you know? that's like an old school Hollywood thing. Like we're a hot mess. We like doing drugs. We're yeah. doing, we're out of control. Oh, my mom's friend's. Still now, we'll walk around being like, you need a whitey? I'm like, what? And she just like hand Talking somebody a pills. fucking pill. Yeah. yeah. And Hayes was buried in Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Oh. So you can stomp on her grave when you go see fucking Beetlejuice 2. <laughs> yeah. You could go watch Office Space and uh, <laughs> with the picnic basket and then puke on her grave when you had too much uh, rosé. Like a scumbag. Like in a scumbag. some ways, she returned to the A-list. Hell yeah. Six days, seven nights, or seven days, seven nights, as some of our listeners say. Yeah. And Ivan Reitman, R.I.P. Yeah. 
Yeah. Has nothing to do with anything, but no, nothing. No. I just no. thought I would say that. Just throw it in there. You know, Ghostbusters. Not? Maybe she's trying to get out. You need to set a trap. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't afraid of no Anheish, <laughs> <laughs> or am I? R.I.P. Anheish. I guess we don't believe in the conspiracy. Yeah, uh, that's a negative Ghost Rider. That's the uh, verdict here. We don't believe in the conspiracy yeah. theory. Thank you. Come again. Come at us with a better conspiracy theory. Yes. 